Mueller said his government is initiating measures to entrench the country's dollar as the basis for sustainable economic growth. The Southern African country adopted a multi-currency regime often dominated by the U.S. dollar in, 20, in 2009 after an economic meltdown resulted in record inflation. And let's have more details of that in this report. Zimbabweans have been using U.S. dollars, South African rands, and the Zimbabwe dollar for domestic transactions since 2020, when the government reintroduced the multi-currency regime to mitigate the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The greenback is the preferred medium of exchange, accounting for about 80% of transactions. But it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's providing a much-needed store of value, but on the other, it makes doing business here more expensive and renders exports uncompetitive. That's why the government wants to restore the Zimbabwe dollar as a standalone currency within five years. Business leaders concur and want a speedy resolution to the protracted currency crisis. For not less than 10 years now, Zimbabwe is struggling to find a foothold regarding having its own established currency. And I think that should be one of the key result areas of the incoming government to make sure that Zimbabwe has got its own sovereign currency because the presence or dominance of the greenback in this market it is posing a lot of challenges. Feelings about the plan are mixed on the highly informalized streets of the capital. I think it's Kashan Samayu. For me, it's a no. I want US dollars or runs only. Everyone aspires to use their own currency. It's my hope too that in the near future we can have our own money as the sole currency. But right now we have no option but to trade in the US dollar because the local currency loses value overnight. Others want bolder policies to make the plan sellable. Dollar! Authorities need to try something different to make us trust the Zimbabwe dollar because so far what they've done hasn't worked. Soon after the August elections, Treasury issued a statement promising to sustain fiscal measures aimed at controlling money supply and supporting the local currency. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.